Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to understand how to run Spearman correlation in SPSS. The Spearman rank order correlation is a non-parametric version of the Pearson product moment correlation. In case of Pearson product moment correlation, we are using two metric variables. But we are having when we are having two non-metric variables, and especially when both of them are in ordinal scale, then we use Spearman correlation. The Spearman correlation coefficient measures the strength and direction of the association between two ranked variables known as ordinal data. Now, for this purpose, we'll be using the data file breakfast overall, which is available in the samples folder of SPSS. It will be available in your folder also. Now here, we have taken the ranks of different breakfast on the basis of their priority. So if I talk about TP, it is a toast pop-up and the but buttered toast. And the responses have been taken into 1 and 15. So the raters have rated based on their priority. Now I want to see, is there any association between the toast pop-up and the buttered toast or not? So what will be my null hypothesis? The research hypothesis is, Toast pop-up breakfast is positively associated with the butter toast breakfast. Our null hypothesis is there is no significant association between toast pop-up and the butter toast breakfast. Alternative, there is a significant association between toast pop-up and the butter toast breakfast. How we can run it? We will go in analyze, regression, not sorry, correlate, bivariate. Transfer TP and BT on this side. Make sure that the Spearman correlation is on. Click OK. And you got the results. I have copied this results on the Word file. And now let's write the interpretation. The first thing which you have to see is the p-value. This p-value. It is 0 0.430. So we will write the interpretation as, as the p-value of the Spearman correlation is 0 0.430 which is more than 5% level of significance, we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that here there is no, I'll introduce a word, there is no significant association between the pop-up toast and the buttered toast. Now, let us check this relationship for any other two variables. That is, we will be testing for toast pop-up and the coffee cakes how they are associated with each other. I'll go in Analyze. Again, I'll click on Correlate, Bivariate. I'll transfer Toast Pop-up and Coffee Cake. I'll transfer here. My null is there is no association between Toast Pop-up and the Coffee Cake. Click OK. You can see the result. The p-value is less than 0.05 which means that there is definitely a significant association between the toast pop-up and coffee cake. But the association is negative. It means that with the demand, with the increase in the demand of toast pop-up, the coffee cake demand decreases or those who are preferring toast pop-up does not prefer coffee cake because they are negatively associated with each other. So, for more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button.